Welcome back to Books to Huda. This video is a haul video, which um, if you've been looking at, you know, if you've seen my channel recently, I've uploaded four consecutive massive unhaul videos where I went through all of my books because I had too many and I had just bought like 17 books because of the President's Day book outlet sale. I just didn't have room for all of my books anymore and that had to change. So I've got a haul for you of the book outlet books I ordered and the other books that I've bought since the last haul I did, whenever that was. So we're gonna go through them kind of quickly, if I can manage that. If I can't, get ready for a long ass video. <laughs> the President's Day book outlet haul, uh, they gave me, I think everything on the site was 15% off and then they gave you a or $5 off $30 purchase coupon if you signed up via email, which of course I did, because the last time I bought a bunch of books, they were awesome. Um, I don't remember how much each of these cost, but I think in total I spent about 35 bucks yet again. The first book is the only kind of legitimately defensible book that I purchased. I heard about this on Ingrid Nilsson's channel when she was reading Me, My Hair and I, 27 Women Untangle the Obsession by Elizabeth Benedict. And it sounded really interesting. Um, not something that you would read maybe all at once, but maybe read one chapter at a time over an amount of time where it's just, you know, a bunch 27 women talk about their relationship with their hair. So I will let you know if I read this. Not if, when. I have the first book of this and I wanted this one because it was there and cheap and pretty. Uh, I haven't read the first one yet, but this one is The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. Ooh, does it? It says it has illustrations. Oh, it does! They're so cool! They're like worked in like illustrations are in books. That's a pretty one. So I obviously probably shouldn't read this until I'm done with the actual first book, Name of the Wind, maybe also with the second book, which I don't even own, so it could be a while, but I wanted to nab this when it was under $5 because I think it's really pretty. And it's all about a girl in this world, which I want to read about. This book I bought because I've seen the sequel at Borders, not Borders, Barnes & Noble a bunch of times, and I really want to buy it because it's really pretty. I don't have the sequel yet. They also had that on the site, but I thought I should just buy the first one in case I don't like it. It's called Dawn of the Dragons by James A. Owen. This is book one, uh, which actually contains two books, I think. Here, There Be Dragons and The Search for the Red Dragon. I assume that's this dragon. Um, I just love the way it looks. Like, even the back is beautiful. Uh... This would have been $22, but I got it for like under five. It's it's really beautiful and it's about dragons, so. I got, I completed my collection of the Laney Taylor. I'm falling, oh my God. I'm falling, I'm falling. <laughs> the Laney Taylor um, Days of Whatever series. Oh, well no, just the Laney Taylor like this series. <laughs> The Daughter of Smoke and Bug series last book haul from Book Outlet. I bought the third book and then they had this one in paperback. So I have the first two in paperback and the last one in hardcover. Next, I bought Dune, Destined for Dune, book two of the Dune books. And, and uh, I have the first book on Kindle because it was like two bucks, which I heard about on Sasha Allsberg's channel. And since it's about Scotland and the past, uh, I just really like these covers too, which are weird because they're kind of cheesy and terrible. And. Last book from the book outlet haul. Uh, this is book two of the Red Rising trilogy. No, I do not have the first book. <laughs> Will I buy it hopefully someday? Yes, uh, because Pierce Brown is very charismatic and I want to see what his writing is like. So, hashtag Pierce. <laughs> okay, last thing that I got from book outlet is an audiobook set of the Bane Chronicles. Um, I bought this because I also do have the book itself somewhere, yeah. Um, here, but I have been driving a lot because I work at a school, um, well, I teach in three places this semester, which is slowly killing me, but I have been, you know, I drive 40 minutes to get there and I'm running out of things to listen to. You can't listen to the Poldark podcast every day. Um, so <laughs> as soon as I'm done reading City of Heavenly Fire, which you can't see. I want to listen to the Bane Chronicles on the way, and these are actually CDs from the past. This was kind of the whole reason that I decided to actually order from Book Outlet again so quickly, uh, because this was like $7, whereas in real time it's like, what, 
$40. So I have really awesome friends. They do get Loot Crate every month and they got a copy of Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, which I've been wanting to buy for a while. Um, sadly, people think Armada ain't that great, but I still want to read this, so it was free. I kind of saw it in their pile of stuff. I was like, oh my god, you have Ready Player One? Have you read it? And they're like, no, we don't read. Do you want it? And I was like, do I want it? Yes! Um, so thank you very much, guys. This will not go to waste. So then, because I was feeling kind of sequestered into my textbook reading and I just really wanted to get something that I wanted to read for fun for no other reason than just to read it for pleasure, I bought the third Raven Boys Raven Cycle book, Blue Lily Lily Blue, uh, by Maggie Stiefvater and read it and I experimented by cracking the spine. I kind of wish I hadn't done it now, but whatever. It's recovered pretty nicely, like it's still pretty solid, but whatever. I saw The Dream Thieves at Meyer for $7.50 and now I have two of them. And The Dream Thieves is my favorite book in the cycle so far. Blue Lily Lily Blue was kind of meh, like whatever. The Raven Boys was far, it was okay, but I really really liked The Dream Thieves because my favorite character is Rowan. Um, Ronan, sorry. <laughs> Throne of Glass book five title released today must have Rowan on my brain. Now I have these, I would like to get them all in paperback and The Raven King comes out shortly. So I'm planning on filming a video about my thoughts about the first three books um, before that comes out to kind of go along with the hype, you know? Um, I haven't decided if I will order The Raven King in hardcover because I like these paperbacks. Like I really like them. They have a great, a great feel. So we'll see. Um, Another series, you know, we all know how much I love V.E. Schwab by now. Um, and so you know that I bought this when I got it signed by her. And then I pre-ordered this from Amazon like a couple of days before the book came out because I was trying to save money, but I really wanted it because I wanted to help her get on the New York Times bestseller list, which I did. I mean, very minimally did. I bought one copy, right? But uh, together, we all put her on the bestseller list, number 15, and she was very ecstatic. Um, so that's cool if you guys also bought this. Woo! I have not read this yet because I want to reread this, and I'm currently rereading slash teaching Vicious, um, and it's going swimmingly. So many of my students bought the book and actually read the pages! That's so exciting! You have no idea! <laughs> um, so I will... I promised that I would tweet about that and I haven't done that yet, so I'll start getting on that. I want to also make a video all about Vicious, maybe wearing a couple fabulous coats, maybe? Um, when I do reread this and then this, I will, of course, make a video. <laughs> and now, we're almost at the polar section of this haul. I bought uh, Agatha Christie's and then there were none because there's a BBC program coming out in like three days and it's also got Aiden Turner in it who is the star of Poldark. Oh my god. <laughs> totally pangirling. Um, I think I read this when I was younger but I and I've definitely seen a different BBC adaptation of it before because my family we watch everything the BBC does almost um, or we did and uh, especially Agatha Christie stuff. You know, I've seen almost every episode of Poirot. I was obsessed with Poirot as a child. He is still my favorite detective ever. Like, Sherlock ain't got nothing on Poirot. Let me just say that. The little gray cells. Yeah. Don't hate me, internet. I, I too appreciate Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock Holmes, like nobody's business, but David Suchet as Poirot. He just gets me. We are buds. So now we are officially at the pull dark part of this haul and there are so many books, let me just say. Yeah, I've spent like a large percentage of my total income this month on pull dark books. I've probably spent like a hundred dollars on pull dark books almost. Probably, yeah. We have book one, which started it all. Then we have book two, Demelza, which took me like a grand total of two days to read and it was brilliant. Um, and these books have such great, like, they make a great noise. Don't read the backs, these books give things away. <laughs> and then I have book three, Jeremy, which I, I really don't, like, is this guy gonna be in the series? Or do they just pick, like, his face is familiar, but, like, Jeremy's still a child, like, what? Warlegan, um, which, it might be my favorite book of the series, honestly. Um, I don't know. It was the most traumatic of the series, for sure. Where's the one I'm currently reading? Ah! Oh my god! Where is it? Where's book five? Oh, it's over there. Let me get it. 
I'm currently reading The Black Moon, which is book five, if I could say that any more times. This is book five of the Poldark saga. Um, book six is The Four Swans. Uh, no idea why it's named that. And book seven is The Angry Tide. Book eight apparently had a movie made out of it at one point. I don't know if it's the same actors as the BBC 70s show, but once I read the book, I will of course watch the film. So I think as if I continue to read at the same speed, like as soon as I'm done with book, maybe as soon as I'm done with The Four Swans, honestly, I'll buy books eight and nine, but I'm trying to pace myself and, you know, not eat up my rent money with Poldark books. <laughs> so now that my shelves are all screwed up, that is my haul. I also bought a few more Outlander books, which you can't see now, but I don't know which ones I've had in the past and which ones are new. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you're reading down below, and I will hopefully not buy any more books that aren't Poldark for a very long time because I have so many books now, even after I just got rid of like two entire bags. Books to Huda! Enjoy the bloopers, I'm sure there are some. Here is it. <laughs> okay. My relationship with my hair has never been great. I can't listen to NPR and Hamilton all the time. A couple, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, my camera's out of space.